Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, there you are. Okay, so before we start, let's have a system check first. Can you hear me? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, great. So welcome to my class. My name is Teacher AM, okay? And starting tonight, I will be your English online teacher here in Pantado. Okay, so do you like it? Yes, I really yeah. like it. Ah, yes, that's nice. It's good to hear that one from you. And I'm happy to be your online English teacher. Okay, so on my free time, I love dancing, reading books, and I like eating ice cream. What about you? Oh. What is your name? I, my name is Fuan. Fuan. Okay, can I call you Ann? Yes. Okay, so hello, Anne. Nice to meet you. Nice. Hello, teacher M. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, okay. My name is teacher A.M., not M. A.M. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so how old are you, Anne? I'm uh, th 13 years old. Ooh, th 13 years old. Okay, so what grade are you now? Um, I, uh, you, uh, can you uh, repeat the again? question? Yes, of course. Yes. What grade are you now? Um, which now is seven. Ah, grade seven. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so how are you today, and are you feeling happy or sad? Yeah. Yes. I'm and feeling happy. Ah, oh, yes, that's great. Okay, and you know, I can see it in your face that you're really happy. Yes, what okay. makes you happy today? Is uh, I can start study with new teacher. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, so I'm very happy to hear that one from you, Anne. Okay, so what are your habits? What do you like on your free time? I like, my hobby is playing chess and playing football. Oh, so who teach you to play chess? Uh, I play chess with my father and my friend. Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice. Who usually won the game when you play chess together with your father? Yes. Okay, so who usually win the game? Is it you or your father? My father. Yes, my father. Ah, your father. Okay, what about football? Who teach you to pl to play football? Uh, my father too. Your father too. Okay, so now Anne, are you now ready to learn? No. Um. Yes, are you now ready to learn? Yes. Okay, so wait I'm me a. Yes, so wait me a bit and I will just open your material. Okay, so about your previous teacher, she's a Vietnamese, right? Yes. Is this your first time to learn with um Filipino teacher? Yes, I this, this is the first time. Okay, so this time Anne will be learning unit 26. It is entitled Guess who lives here? Okay, can you please repeat the title, Anne? Uh, uh, I don't understand that. Ah, uh, yes. Can you please repeat the title? Guess who lives here? Um, my my mother, my my father, my brother, and me ah yeah so the one who lives in your house are your mother father brother and you okay so there yes. are four people who live in your house okay so now Anne, we will be learning words from our vocabulary so what will you do you're going to look at the picture you listen to teacher and you repeat after me do you got it Yes. Okay, so now kindly look at this picture. What is this? This is a CD. Can you please say it again? 
city. Yes, city. city. Okay, you say it's a city. It's a city. Great job. Okay, next we have lamp. Lamp. Okay. Lamp. Yes, it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Great job. How about this one? You say snail. Snail. Okay, snail. can you please? Very good, that is correct. You say, this is a snail. This, this is a snail. Great job. Okay, so now, and let's proceed with the last picture. What is this? It's a? Spider. Very good. You say, it's a spider. It, it's a spider. Okay, so now, and I'm going to hide the names of this picture and you will be yes. the one to tell me the name of the of each picture okay so let's start with this one what is this Anne? it's a lamb very it's good a... yes very good how about this one it is the city yes it's a city great okay how about this this is a snow yes what about this one this is spider. Great job. So for that, Anne, let's clap our hands four times. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. Very good. Okay, so that's nice. So here, Anne, here in this part A, you're going to look at the picture and you read. Do you know how to read? Yes. Very good. So you're going to read, then you write yes, if the sentence is correct, otherwise you write no if it is not correct. Are you now ready to begin? Yes. Okay, so let me ask you this question. How many bats are there? Can you please count? Um, teacher, but the picture is so... Uh, blur? So... Uh, uh, you mean blur? Uh, not no, clear i i can see uh, i can see how many bats oh uh, you can see how many bats why because is it not clear yes it's not clear okay so this time um let me count it for you okay so we have i i will just point and you will be the one to count okay let's start one one Two, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so how many bats are there? There are? There are six bats. Very good. That is correct. There are six bats. Oh, I think there's seven. I, I missed this one, the one on the wall. I'm very sorry. Yeah, so you say there are seven bats. There are seven bats. Very good. Are there any people inside this room? Can you see any people? No, I can't see. Okay, so do you think people live in this house? I think um, no, because it's... Uh, this uh this house has many paths but and people don't like paths yes and you know you cannot see any spiders if someone will live inside this house I, I yes i agree with you that there's no one living in this house that's why it have lots of bats and spiders too and cobwebs okay so is it in the center of a city or in the countryside? What do you think? I think it's in the country. Yes, why do you say so, Anne? Um, because in, in, uh, in, the, in the country, they can, uh, oh, oh no. Um, yes. You mean there are lots of bats in the country? Yes. Okay, so I think so. Because, you know, once you have a house in a city, there would be some, someone who will rent. If you will not live 
inside your house in a city that is located in the city, someone will rent it for you. Okay, so I, I agree with you that this house belong or located in the countryside because nobody lives here and it have lots of bats. Okay, so now Anne, um, oh, what is this? So I want um. you to look at the picture for one minute okay because in the next slide it's your turn to answer numbers one to ten and you're gonna write yes if it is correct or no if it is not correct okay so tell me if you're done looking at the picture okay teacher okay now okay so this this time let's proceed with this one okay can you please read number one this is an example the biggest bat in the picture and i uh, no i can it's not clear ah uh, it's not clear okay let me read it for you Anne. the biggest bat in the picture is okay. flying below the yes. sun is it yes or no? Okay, you can see here that it is yes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so now for numbers two to, two to eight, it's your turn to read and to write yes. If it is correct, then no. If it is not correct, can you please start reading, Anne? Um, there is a green pass at the bottom of the stair and is slipping. I think no. Okay, this one is no very good. What about number three? Two parts, two parts are outside the house. I think no. No. Why is it no? Because there's only one bat. One. Very good. What about number four, Anne? Uh, you, uh, it's not clear again. Okay, you can see a bat in front of the window. Is it yes or no? I think uh, yes. It's a yes. Very good. What about number five? Can the you please smallest, the smallest bat in the picture is an 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 bat at the phone. Yes, the smallest bat in the picture is on top of the phone. Is it yes or no? No. Okay, very good. What about number six? In this picture, we can only see one spider. Is it yes, yes. or no? Yes. yes, great job. What about number seven? Can you please read, Anne? I can, I can't, I can't read. You can't read this one. Okay. The bat, which is above the hall table, is brown. Is it yes or no? No. Okay. So this is no great. So why is it no? Because? Because, uh, because it's a great, great, great. Okay, great. What about number eight? Can you please read number eight? Yes. Most of the parts are inside the house. Yes. I think no. Okay, this one is yes. For this part, okay. Anne, you got seven out of eight. That is almost a perfect score. So that is still a good score. Okay, so before we proceed with the next slide, Anne, do you have any question to me? Um. Yes. I, you, no, 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 you don't have any questions. So this time, let's correct the mistakes in sentences two, three, five, and seven. Okay, so let's begin with number two. The, I will make this one as an example. Number two is a no. Can you see? There's a green yeah. bat at the bottom of the stairs and it's sleeping. This is no. So let us correct the sentence in number two. Why is it no? Because there's a purple bat at the bottom okay. of the stairs and it is sleeping. So that is how you do 
that is how you correct the mistakes. Okay, so you're going uh -oh. to base this one on what you can see in the picture. Okay, and base. Okay, okay, teacher. Very good. So now let's proceed with number three. It's your turn to correct this one. One part are uh, on a. Uh, one bat are outside the house. Yes, one bat is outside the house. Okay, very good. You are correct. Please take note that we use R, this one, okay. because it is plural, because there is two bats. And when it is only one, we use is. Okay, is. and? Okay, because it's singular. Okay, so what about number five? The smallest, most smallest bat in the picture. It's on top of the phone. Uh, um, the um, smallest part in the picture is on top. In the picture of the phone. is in in front of uh, in front next to next to to picture. Okay. Okay. Can you please repeat? Um, the smallest bat between the two pictures. Okay, very good. That is correct. The smallest bat is in the picture. In the picture is on the wall between the two pictures. Okay, what about number seven, Anne? The past which is a prop of the whole table is brown. Uh, the past which is a prop of the uh, uh, above the whole table is black. It's white or black? Oh, black. I think black. Okay, black. Okay, so uh, this one is pink. Okay. Yes. I, it's, I think I think the part on the phones ah okay so when you say above that means like this one above okay. on the phone is next to the phone or on the phone okay it is on the phone okay so now fat you got mm, three out of four in this correction or in this task here below okay so do you have any clarification to teacher uh teacher Yes. Uh, okay. Um. Oh no, no. Do you have something to say? No. Okay. No, Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So very sure. A hundred percent sure. Okay. So this time, Fat, we will be learning prepositions. What are prepositions? Those are after. Before, before, between, opposite, opposite from, and round. Okay, so now let's use after in a sentence. Can you please use after in a sentence? Um, I after, uh, after the table, the table. After the table. Okay, so nice try. Let me make a sentence using after. I will do homework after I brush my teeth. Okay, okay. so that is an example. When we use after, how about before? Can you please use before in a sentence? Before, before I play football, I, uh, I study in, in the school. Very good. That is a good example. What about between? Can you please use between in a sentence? Okay. I am in the in my class. I am between the I am between the the two girls. Oh wow, two <laughs> girls. <laughs> Are they beautiful? No. 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 That is just an example, right? Yes, example. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what about opposite? When you say opposite. opposite, this means they are completely different. They are not alike. 
Um, uh, okay, offices. <laughs> yes, what would be your example for this? <coughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. nice. I in my class I am um, opposite my teacher. Okay, so you say in my class I sit opposite my teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What about from and? Can you please use this one in a sentence? Yes, I am from Vietnam. Okay. Very good. A good example. Okay. What about round? Round. Um, I am round. I am round the the house. Okay. You you are around the house. Okay, okay, so now we have at the back of. When we say at the back of, it's like yes. this one. Okay, for example, okay. Um, my dad is at the back of my mom. Okay. Okay. That is an example of at the back of. What about in front of? Can you please use in front of in a sentence? Okay. Um, my... My phone's in front of my, um, in front of my back. In front of my back? Ah, back. bag, bag, yes, bag. bag. Yes, okay. Or we can say very good example, or we can say the cat is in front of the box. Okay. Yes, okay, so now let's use at the end in a sentence. Can you please create a sentence? Uh, I think no. Ah, okay. So this one, I'll be the one to make a sentence using at the end. Okay, so at the end of the finish line, okay. I scream. Okay. I What I mean with I scream is S-C-R-E-A-M. When you're shouting, yes, I'm finished. At the end of the finish line, I scream, yes, I'm finished. Okay, like that. Okay, so now we have this one at the top of or uh, on the top of. So uh, where is the chicken? Um, the, the, the chicken on the top of the flag. Yes, very good. Or you can say the chicken is on the top of the cat or on the top of the flag. Very good, you're correct with flag. Okay, what about this one at the bottom of, where is the cat? Um, the cat at the bottom of the, of the chicken. Very good. Okay, what about this one? Where are they now? Uh, they are at home. Yes, they are at home. Very good. You're so smart, Anne. Okay, so do you have any question about prepositional phrases? Okay. Um, teacher, I, I, you can make make an example again with a at with at the end. Yes. Okay. So. You will, um, let me think first, at the end. Mm. At the end of the lesson, you will learn many things. Okay. Okay. Do you still have other clarification? Uh, I, I make an example, right? Ah, uh, yes. If you want to make an example, you can. Okay, at the end of the, of the, um, uh, at the end of the cheese, I will pack home. Very good example. Great job. Okay, so now, Anne, you're going to listen and draw lines between the names and the bats. Okay. okay. So here, what is this one? Which bath do you think is quick, 
cloud or dream or teeth or sandwich. So you're going to look at sandwich. It's at the back of the room in front of the window. So where is sandwich? Sandwich is at the back of the room and in yes. front of the window. So where is sandwich? Uh, uh, what? Uh, so sandwich, uh, I draw line. I draw line. Okay, teacher. Very good. That is correct. What about this one, Anne? Okay. Can you see teeth? This bat is sitting on the whole table. It's watching the big bat fly. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's check. Very good. Okay, so let's proceed with the next one. Oh uh, dear, Dream is sleeping again. It's on the floor at the bottom of the stairs. So where is Dream? Okay. Very good. Okay, look at cloud above the phone. It's pink, body, and face are so beautiful. Okay. Very good, that is correct. Okay, what about this one? Quick is coming into the house. It's flying very quickly like it always does. Can you see it open the door? Yeah. Okay, very good. Wow, great job because you got a perfect score. That is five out of five. Job well done. And okay, so now let's proceed with our part C. Okay, so here in part C, you're going to read and then write the names of the people who live in each flat. Okay, are you now ready to begin? Okay. Okay, um, so do more people in your country live in houses of flats? Do more people in your country who lives in houses of flats? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this house is in the center of the city called Toll Town. So there are six flats in this house. So you're going to read about the people who live in these flats. Okay, so do you think they like living there? Yes, I think they are living there. Very good. How about you? Would you like to live there? Yes, because I can read a book like uh, I have because I can watch TV and computer so, uh, so I can read a, reading a book yeah so that you can read a book watch computer or I play computer and watch TV okay I know okay. what you mean okay so now you're going to read about the people who live in these flats, okay? Can you please start reading, Anne? Yes. Mr. and Miss White live at the bottom, bottom of the stair. Hello, Mary Pink. The White family, the White family like cooking a lot of. They often invite friends to their flat, and they have that. Dinner parties. Um, Anna and Bill Brown love reading quietly in their living room. They don't like living, um, like living about Miss Green because she plays very loud, very loud music when she comes home after work. Uh, Miss Green, Miss Green lives opposite her friend Mary Mary Pink. They are both learning to play the guitar and they make a lot of noises. John's Grace flat is under the Miss Green. He doesn't have to try to work because he works, uh, works on his website at home, but he rides around the park. Um, on his bike every morning first. The new, new, um, new west, new west person in this house is Lucy Blue. They uh, seem moved, moved into 
the flag at the top of the stand to flow a pop Mr. and Mr.'s wife's apartment. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading this one, Anne. Okay, while well, you're reading, I listen to you and I can say that you are a great reader and a fast reader. However, there are only four words that you mispronounce. So I want you to repeat after me. You say often. Often. Very good. Next, quietly. Quietly. Great job. Next, newest. Newest. And moved. Moved. Very good. Can you please repeat it on your own? You say? Often. 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 This is silent T. Often. Often. Very good. How about this? Quietly. Great job. How about this one? Newest. New Great. Yes, you say new west. New west. Okay. Very good. How about this one, Anne? Mood. Mood. Great job. Okay, so now, Anne, did you understand the story that you read or yes. the text that you read? Very good. So now I want you to write the names of people who live in each flat. Okay, so you're going to write it down here on the broken lines. Can you see the lines, broken lines? Yes, I can okay. see. Okay, so you're going to write their names. You can start now, Anne. Um, okay.
Yeah. Are you now done, Anne? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, oh, why did you erase that one? Uh, I do have mistakes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's okay. You can get, you can put it back together again. Very good. Anna and Bill Brown. What about in this flat? Who lives here? Okay, we still, I do. We still mm. have Mary Pink. Okay, White Family. Then Miss Green, it's done. Bill Brown, it's done. No, yeah. I write Mary Link. Okay, I. Okay. And I think Anna and Bill Brown are separate. John Gray, okay, done. Miss Green, done. Lucy Blue, ah, we still have Lucy Blue. Um, yes. Okay, I think. Okay. What um, about the White Family? Where does the white family live? Okay. Okay, Dita. Okay. So now, Anne, are these your final answers? Yes. Are you now ready to check your answer? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. Okay, wow, great job. This is Anna and Bill Brown. Next is Lucy Blue. Next is Miss Green, Mary Pink, John Gray, and White, Mr. and Mrs. White. Very good. Wow. So this time, let's give a five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Very good. Wow, why is it that you're so smart? I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe that is inborn. Okay, you inherited that one from your parents. Then you learn every day together with your other teachers. Okay, and I okay. think you learned something from your Vietnamese teacher in Pantado. Is that right? Yes. Okay, may I ask what is the most um, important thing that you learned from your previous teacher? teacher? Oh, um, my I learned. Um, in uh, I learned. Um, presence symbols. Oh, presence. Uh, future and. Uh, uh, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, 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 I understand. I understand. You learn present simple tense and future tenses. Is that right? As uh, features. Presence and can can um present continuous yes ah okay so that's good because it's, you learned something from her twelve 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 um okay okay <laughs> so this time and let's proceed with the next slide so rooms and what we do in them okay so okay. let me put this one which room is this wait me a little bit okay people cook in this room and they sometimes eat there so which room is it this room this uh, zoom is a uh, kitchen Yes, it's a kitchen. Very good. What about this one? We have a shower and we wash, uh, then dry our bodies here. Uh, this this room is uh, 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 bathroom. 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 Very good. Okay, so this one, people sit at the table and have lunch or di dinner in this room. Uh, 
Oh. Which room is it? Oh. I don't know. Good job because Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Do you have other guess? Can you guess? Yes. People sit at the table and have lunch or dinner in this room. Okay, so where do you have your lunch? Do you have it inside the bathroom? No. No. Is it inside the kitchen? Yes, sometimes. Okay. Yes. How about no. the living room? Do you eat your lunch in the living room? No, because no. the living rooms, uh, oh, usually, I what TV in this? Very good. How about dining room? Do you eat okay, dinner? Okay, dining room. Okay. Very good. Gotcha. It is dining room. How about this one, Anne? Can you please read? A bedroom. We both sleep in this room and they sometimes get rest there. Yes, yeah, so which room is that? It's bedroom. Yes, it's bedroom. Okay, so how about this one? People sit and watch TV in this room. So which room is it? It's a living room. Yes, it's a living room. Okay, so now, Anne, may I ask you, what parts of the house did you learn tonight? We have... We have... Uh, 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 Just look at the uh, picture. Just look at the uh, picture. It, Kitchen. Yes, kitchen, bathroom, uh, the dining room. Very good. Uh, living rooms and a bedroom. Very good. That is correct. Wow, you're so smart. Okay, so now Anne, what do you do inside the bed inside the bathroom? Ice, ice also. Clear my my face. Wash my uh, oh no. Wash uh, uh, I take the showers and wash my teeth and wash my face. Very good. What about in the dining room? What do you do there? I eat lunch, dinner, dinners, and breakfast. Yes. Do you help your mom to prepare the breakfast or dinner than lunch? Yes, I help my mom to prepare the, the meals. Yes. What do you usually do in preparing a I, meal? I can uh, cooking rice. Um, uh, cooking rice. Uh, uh, rice uh, I can make uh, Egg. Well, very good. You can, you can. Do you know how to cook rice? Yes, I can. I know. Yes. What about egg? Do you know how to cook egg? I, uh, I, yes, I know. Okay. So, what type of egg do you cook? Is it um, um, boiled egg, sunny side up? Or fried egg or scrambled egg? I cook fried egg. Okay, what about boiled egg? Do you know how to cook that one? Yes. How do you cook boiled egg? Can you please tell teacher? Uh, boiled egg. Yes. I, I can, uh, I can uh, read this about teacher because I don't have, I can't find any any words to uh, to, explain. to uh, explain us. Yes, it's okay, and I understand you, and I know that you know how to cook a boiled egg. It's very easy. First, oh. you will need to get the kettle. Okay. Yeah. You put water in it. Then you turn on the stove. Then you put the kettle with water inside. You boil it for about 15 minutes until you see the, the water boiling. Put the, okay. put the egg, okay, directly. Then for about five, five minutes, get the egg. Then it is now ready to eat. But you need to take off the shell. 
Okay. okay. So that is how that is how you cook boiled egg. Okay. Since our time is over, Anne, do you have any clarification, suggestion, or any question to me before we formally end? Um, I have a question to you. To you. Yes. You, what is your question? Now, you um use in now you in Vietnam or Philippines? Okay, teacher AM is here in Philippines right now. Okay. I'm a Filipino. I live in Malaybalay City, Bukidnon. Okay. Yes. Okay, so do you still have other question? No, I don't have. Okay, so thank you so much for your time, Anne. Thank you for participating in our class. I'm happy to learn with you. And I'm very happy to see one new student of mine. Okay, I hope to see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a good night and keep safe always. Bye-bye, Anne. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye.